Moon Man number one was Bijan Robinson, and for good reason. Potentially the number one overall dynasty player in all of fantasy football. Yeah, I, I said it before he's taking a snap. Yeah, I said it before he's got a landing spot. You heard me. Moon Man number Duh. Garrett Wilson. G. Will. Potentially a top five to ten wide receiver in 2023. How do you like that one? Moon Man number Trey. Chris Olave. Chris Olave is possibly a top eight to 12 wide receiver in 2023. Moon Man number Four. Yeah, another rookie running back, a guy by the name of Gibbs, the new Gibby. Would the real Gibby please stand up? Yeah. Yeah. Potato. We're taking your nickname away, Antonio Gibson. This is the new Gibby. His name is Jameer Gibbs, and he's the new Alvin Kamara. Moon Man. Drum roll. Moon Man number five. Smitty, this better not be another rookie running back. It couldn't be. It couldn't be another rookie. Could it be? Could it be? Moon Man number five. The Moon Man <laughs> dropping loads in outer space. Zach Charbonnet. Zach Charbonnet. Space Moon says. Rookie running back. Oh, Smith. Hey, not another rookie running back. Yes, indeed. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty. I love rookie running backs, but there are a lot of rookie running backs. The key is to identify them before they become the players that everybody else is going to end up realizing they are. We talked up Walker, Brees Hall, and I don't want to hear many rookies are an easy bold prediction. Rookies bust all the time. There might even be one more rookie running back moon man but this is not about those other players this video is not about these four individuals moon men the moon men dropping loads in outer space no 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 this video is about zach charbonnet total yard extraordinaire look at this guy's game log from the past two seasons in 2022 1359 on the ground seven yards per carry 14 touchdowns along of 49 yards 37 receptions for 321. In 2021, 24 receptions for 197, 1137, and 13 TDs on the ground. What the game logs won't tell you, what your eyeballs must tell you, you must put on your best shades and watch YouTube videos of Zach Charbonnet. This is doctor's orders. This is not a request. If you want to be great at fantasy football, if you want to be a moon man identifier, for a living like your boy Smitty, you must watch the film. When I watch Zach Charbonnet, not run, not scamper, rumble through his highlight footage, you know what I see? I see a player that is a combination. I don't even know what two players to compare here because he's not built quite like Derrick Henry, but you can't tackle him much like you can't tackle Derrick Henry. And if you think I'm stretching it, watch the YouTube footage. I guarantee you, after two or three minutes of watching that footage, or I almost guarantee you, nothing's a guarantee in life, but Moon Men! The Moon Men dropping. I almost guarantee you, after watching footage, I can't guarantee your mom didn't drop you on your head a couple times, and maybe you can't tell the difference, but I almost guarantee you that if you watch Zach Charbonnet, footage you will say to me hey smitty dear smitty you are so right about zach charbonnet this guy looks like a ballerina on the field but an aggressive one one that barrels through player after player after player he cannot be tackled by even two men i would say it takes multiple defenders to tackle him if he ever got tackled watch the footage and say to yourself one guy two guys three guys how many times can two defenders take down zach charbonnet if you think i'm joking i i challenge you to watch the footage and leave a comment that says yes mitty i'm the bold and brave one one that's gonna say i watched the footage and yeah he can easily be tackled i dare any one of you to comment below that zach charbonnet isn't the most difficult running back to tackle you've probably seen in 10 years i challenge one of you to comment below and i'll highlight your comment in the next video i'm telling you this kid 
in the right spot would be phenomenal. This kid would be the Kenneth Walker of the rookie running back class, meaning he's going very, very late. People are doubting him. His landing spot could certainly change the tide and people could be all over him. Remember back last year, this is my number three running back. He was going to declare for the NFL draft. Then he decided to go back to college. If you don't remember, this guy was my number three ranked rookie running back behind Kenneth Walker before he announced he was going back to school. This is not some new find for me. We pulled up the footage on Instagram and we watched it and I said, watch this film on this kid. It's unbelievable. What's he do? He goes back to school. Doesn't even change his draft value in my opinion because I think he was the number three running back last year. He's the number three running back three, four. There's one more running back I like near as much, but this is my number three running back right now. There will be another Moon Man rookie running back. You heard me. There will be another rookie yeah. running back. Yeah. Moon Man. This guy, this guy, Zach Charbonnet is going to explode at the NFL level. Zach Charbonnet will be looked at as a three down back because he can catch because he's big. No one's going to say, yeah, this is a good change of pace running back right here. <laughs> no one's going to say that. Watch the film, Bob. Read the room, Bob. No one's going to say that about Zach Charbonnet. If they do, they don't know what they're talking about. This guy's a three down back at the NFL level. He's a four down back. Give it to him on fourth down. Fourth and two. Zach Charbonnet, dial up a Smitty, it's fourth and three. Dial up, Zach Charbonnet. We've got ourselves the first four down back in the NFL. He's not a three down back. He's a four down back. Think what you want. Think what you want. Say, Smitty. I just don't know. Depends on where you go. Good. Good for you. Careful, Caleb. Good for you. You're going to wait and see how where he lands. Good job. Careful, Caleb. Go get him. Go get your inflated Zach Charbonnet shares after you know where he lands. Go get your picks. Go get your 1.3. Go get your 1.4. Grab Destiny by the... And take Zach Charbonnet for yourself at 1.3, 1.4 versus waiting for him to hopefully fall. And hopefully people don't jump on the train after he gets his landing spot in the 2023 NFL Draft. Zach Charbonnet will be everybody's number three rookie running back in the coming months. You're on board early because he is what? He is what? He's a... The moon man dropping loads in outer space. Yep, yep. Space monsters. Indeed, space monsters, they are. And I want you all, on that note, to get on over to thefantasyfootballshow.com. Get your year-round rankings and bold predictions. I've got rookie rankings where the running backs are already up. The rookie running back rankings are already up. They're already mingled into the redraft and dynasty rankings. My famous super rookie rankings are the rookie class and the sophomore class only to give you like a real sense of dynasty value. Get on over to thefantasyfootballshow.com. I'm live Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm live whenever news breaks. If news is big, it breaks, I'm live. I want you to think to yourself, okay, news comes out tomorrow about A-Rod or Tom Brady or Lamar. Huh, I wonder where I could find somebody talking about this right now and digesting this breaking news. Oh, I know, Smitty's live whenever news breaks. I'm live Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, almost all those days at midnight Eastern. When am I not live? And subscribe to the Dynasty channel in the description. It's youtube.com slash Dynasty Fantasy Football. We're going to be dropping tons of, of videos on that bad boy. Now get out of here. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty. Smitty.